I'll have the collar on the same side and I'll have the pins, okay? So we're gonna grab the same side collar because I can break more his posture, okay? If Andy tried to stand up, just stand up without breaking my grip. You see, like, it's hard for him to posture up. When I grab cross collar, it's good, but you see, he turned more. Turn around. Especially, he has uh, more freedom to hold his leg here and step over my leg, okay? Sometimes I step over my leg, just like this. Okay, go back. So if I control this side, I can break more his posture and I can link my knee against his chest, okay? So I keep my knee close to his chest so I know I'm breaking his posture really well. Every time his knee goes off my, my uh, knee, okay, every time his uh, chest, sorry, goes out of my knee, it's hard for me like to control it and then can step over. Plus, if I keep my leg open like this, he can go for double unders, okay? And double under is something that it's kind of like hard for you to do it, right? If that happens, you have to immediately control the belt of your opponent and then start like putting the heels on the floor, okay? But we're gonna avoid that. We're gonna control the pins, control the collar, same side, and try to stack right now. It's a little bit harder for me to stack if I keep my knees closed, okay? So now I have to work with the De La Riva guard from the side that I'm controlling. Uh, his pants. Okay, so I control, got the Lahifa hook. Okay, so now there's a lot of things I can do from this situation. And the reason I grab it the same side, okay, is because after I pass, I want to to go straight forward to a nice uh, guard pass. Okay, grabbing the collar and pants, same side, right, not crossing. It's a great, a great way for you to pass. If Andy tried to break my grip here, okay, like this. I'll work with the De La Riva hook, and then I'll push him towards this way. So I'll force him to pull his hands on the floor. That's the first thing I'll do. Again, so I'm here, De La Riva guard. He's gonna try to break. I force him to pull his hand on the floor. Okay, so after I'm doing this, I'm gonna start bringing this leg inside. So I'll turn, and I'll bring, turn on me. Look at the movements of my arm. So I'm gonna bring his leg, my elbow, under his leg and his leg over my form like this and at the same time i'm doing this taking his foot off the mat okay i will pummel in this leg here i was with the hip of hook i'll go like this okay and then i'll have the modified x right here okay so i'll have my foot against his hip okay right here so now it's like a shell uh, a shell right here a shelf right with the elbow and the shin. So once I do that, it's so easy for me to sweep my opponent, okay? I can push with the foot that's on the hip. Yeah. And with the leg that's here on the, on the knee, on the thigh. Okay, so I'll push him and I'll come up. So when I come up, okay, I don't come up facing this way. Because sometimes if I come up facing this way, Okay, just like this. Sometimes when I do that, my opponent will be half with his foot again and force me to go back on the floor, okay? So when I kick him, I'll face towards the side of the, the leg that I'm holding on the pants. For example, look, I'll push him, okay? Here, and I'll turn this way, see? So if I push him and turn towards him, it's too much weight, okay? So I'll push and face the other way because it's uh, it's light right here, okay? So there's not much weight on this side. So I'll push and I'll turn like this, okay? Mm -hmm. So the same leg that I'm pushing on the hip is the same leg that I'll bring underneath of me. Look, to come up. See that? So I push him as far as I can and then I'll come up like this, okay? So as I come up, for sure, my opponent will try to defend it and sweep. He's not gonna get swept right away. I'll be on this position here, okay? So now with the hand on the collar, I'll force him to pose the hand on the floor, like this, okay? So I'm here, I go like this, okay? And now I'm gonna go with the hook inside his leg to sweep him. So I'm going straight forward to the knee cut. And now we are in the position where we drew last week, right? collar and pants, I can push the shin out, I can pass towards my left, 
If he's blocking, I can make a transition towards the, the right. You can try to recover the guard and try to make a lasso like this. I put my knee inside and I go back to this position here, doing the wish wiper. Yeah. And that goes back again to the same position. Pin. He's gonna try to recover. Wish to what? See? So you have like three passes with this grip. This grip here is so important. Pants and collar, especially if you're passing to this side. Because now you're gonna keep your opponent close to you. Okay? So it's way harder for me to defend my passes if I'm controlling his collar. Okay? He's gonna try to break my grip. I put my head down and I open my elbow like this if you try to break the grip. Turn my thumb down like this. When you try to break it, go like this, right? Put my head down. So now I can start passing. I can go overhead, look. Then sit down, okay? So as you sweep, you're gonna connect to the guard pass, kind of like a knee cut, okay? You're gonna find yourself in this situation. Collar and pants. Drop his hand on the floor and then move towards it. Like this. He's gonna have the knee shield for sure, okay? Avoid the knee shield. I can do this, okay? I can put my knee over too, like this. Okay, to go to the other side. I can take the knee out and knee cut. And I know, because I'm not holding the bottom leg, he's gonna escape the hips. So I use my shoulder on him, pop over the other side. He's gonna try to go over. This is very common. I'm not gonna let go of my grips. Okay? I'm gonna open my elbow, bring my elbow towards me, open my elbow, and then use my shin right on his hamstring. And now look, I stay between his legs. See this? Now I can go for a windshield wiper. And then I establish my pass here, or he's gonna try to do the same thing again. That's too cool. You guys understand? See, there's there's three passes, three combinations after you sweep, right? It's very important. First pass, knee cut. Second pass, head down, leg break, hop over. Third one, you got a knee shoe, then you got a shallow loss. Okay? Go between his legs and use your shin here. Why is my shin here? Because if I move like this, it's gonna move plot to me. Okay? So as I turn, look, I use my shin here. I can even stack him like this. So I know he's gonna try to bring the leg back. I bring this leg over my lap. And I extend my arm. Don't let the, the knee on your, on your belly like this. And then, you wish it wipe her, look. See, now he passes it up. You guys got it? Okay. Again. So you can start to Collar same side, paint same side. De La Riva guard, he's trying to break my grip. I bring it to the floor. I can frame this leg here. And look, I'm gonna put this leg over him. Take the De La Riva hook out. So when I move and create a shelf, the shelf, I bring the leg over my, sh my shin. Oh uh, my, yeah, my shin like this. Look, now I kick and face away from him. and then stop right here, okay? You go over and over like this, over and over. Okay, I believe the most uh, difficult, difficult uh, part of the position is this transition here, look. Turn on it. So keep his foot close to your hip, you see? Not on the floor. 
So bring his foot over the hip right here. And then you go with the shelf. And then you move this leg here. And now I'm here. Okay. So it's gonna be three minutes one person, three minutes another person, two minutes one person, two minutes another person, one minute one person, other minute another person. Each time you're decreasing the technique, you go more and more faster and faster. Okay, faster, good grips. I don't want to see you sloppy, okay? You have to be a little tense right when you are in the UK, okay? Don't just be sloppy. Any question? Yes? So after we pass, we just reset on bottom? Yeah, after we pass, right? Then to be on bottom. <coughs> if you want, okay? If you want. I know it's a lot of things, right? But. It's a little bit more advanced, like, if you pass here, then you can do a submission. Boom, and then he comes on top. Now I go again. Make my grips. And then keep doing this over and over, okay? Just set up a submission if you want, just to go down. Okay, uh, last thing, okay? Because we're gonna just do this the whole class. Um, try to make your drill, like the three minutes you have, like the, the best three minutes of your life <laughs> in Jiu-Jitsu, okay? For example, I don't wanna see this, like you here, okay? Andrew tried to break my grip, I bring him over, okay? I don't want to see this. Like, here you lost like three, four seconds, five seconds. You accumulate each rep, it turns into a minute. You lost one minute of drills. So you finish the, the pass. Stay connected with your friend. Connection, Jiu Jitsu is connection, okay? Don't go away, don't walk out, don't. Okay, so you waste energy and waste time. All right, let's go, one, two, three.